So we just witnessed Drickus still knock Stu Plessy shock the world last night against uh, the, you know, the consensus second best middleweight in the division, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. No one's done that to Robert Whitaker like that. Um, but what are the odds that he then goes from beating like the second best to the best middleweight in the world? I mean, do we see him to like pull two back to back upsets in the span of two months? Ah, the chances of that happening, I'm sorry, are very slim. I know we all we all would love not we because I don't want him to win. But I know a lot of y'all Izzy haters would love the idea of uh, Drick is still Knox going out there and, and beating the cringe, evil Israel Adesanya. But let's be real, all right? Yeah, he knocked out Robert Whitaker. He overwhelmed Robert Whitaker. And I did say leading up, if he fights Robert on his worst night, he'll win. And he got Robert on his worst night. I'm not convinced. I'm still not convinced with that win. But Israel Adesanya is different. Israel Adesanya, he don't have those same striking holes as Israel as Robert. Robert Whitaker, he lunges a lot, he ducks his head a lot. He's very sloppy with his punches. Israel Adesanya, tighter with his boxing, better with his distance management than Robert Whitaker, uh, better at mixing up his strikes than Whitaker when it comes to going body, head. And Israel Adesanya is just all around a better striker than Robert. And he's taller than Robert Whitaker as well. And taller than Drickus. He's like six foot three inches tall. They say he's six four. I'd say he's probably like a short six four or like, I don't know, maybe a tall six three. But he's got the height and reach over Drickus Duplessis. Uh, and I think he can easily keep Drickus Duplessis on the outside. But I don't see that like that awkwardness, that awkward, sloppy, but effective striking style working on Israel Adesanya. The only way Drickus Duplessis is winning this fight is if he can make it a grappling match. Now that's easier said than done. We know how good Israel's defensive wrestling is. And now he's training with Craig Jones, one of the best grapplers in MMA, who really upped Volkanovski's grappling. Yeah, good luck. And I mean, Drickus Duplessis did say, huh, we saw Alex did, he took him down. If I get a hold of him, it's not even a fight. If I get my hands on him, it's not even a fight. Okay, Drickus. Okay. Well, guess what? What if you don't get your hands on Israel Adesanya? You're saying you manhandled him in grappling back in the day. But what if you don't get the fight to the ground? So it's not a fight if it's a grappling fight with Israel Adesanya. Got it. But what happens when Israel Adesanya is defending your takedowns? Or what happens if you get a takedown and Israel Adesanya gets up? Then it's not even a fight, Drickus. You don't get this fight to the ground. It's not a fight. It's an ass whooping. You're not going to find those same openings that you did on Robert the Reaper Whitaker. I'm sorry. Israel Adesanya, as far as I'm concerned, has us in the bag now. I will not underestimate Duplessis. I doubted him uh, when he fought Robert Whitaker. I won't doubt him against Israel because anything can happen. Weird stuff happens in MMA all the time. And moving forward, I don't think we're going to be seeing Israel by murder comments like we did with Robert Whitaker when he fought Drickus the Plessy. But the odds of lightning striking the same place twice is just unlikely. And Drickus getting another comical upset against another world-class elite pound-for-pound fighter it's just unlikely, you know? And like I said, there's the difference in striking levels between Whitaker and Adesanya, just on a technical level, on an accuracy level as well. And also one thing I forgot to mention, Israel Adesanya, he traps the hands so well on the feet. That's something that, that Robert Whitaker does not do that I think Adesanya is going to do against Drickus Duplessis. That hand trapping, that's really going to give Drickus a hard time getting off on Israel Adesanya on the feet and connecting. That's really going to disrupt the punches of Drickus Duplessis. And I don't really see Drickus dealing too well with that. Like, like I said, he's going to have to, his only chance in hell to win is if he can take Israel down frequently and Israel Adesanya just cannot get up. But that's extremely unlikely, man. 
Drinkus Duplessis, as far as I'm concerned, is like just a more powerful version of Marvin Vittori. But another Marvin Vittori that's gonna get dealt with. And I'm sorry, folks. Unfortunately for y'all, I think we're gonna be stuck with Israel Adesanya for a little while longer. He just got the belt back in the way he did against Poetan. And he's not about to lose his belt anytime soon, especially on his first defense to Drickus the Plessy. I just can't see Izzy letting that happen. He's just way too good. But at the end of the day, it's MMA. Anything can happen. We shall see. But I got Israel Adesanya in this one pretty comfortable. It's just going to be Israel Adesanya piecing up Drickus du Plessis, stuffing takedowns, breaking him down with kicks to the calves, shots to the body, and probably eventually finding a, a TKO stoppage. It's just going to be Drickus being a punching bag and swinging at air, swinging big, missing hard, and gassing out, which ultimately, yeah, I think is going to lead to a finish. Um, but Drickus, I mean, he will show his toughness and who knows, maybe the fight goes to a decision, but either way, man, Adesanya is likely going to dominate this fight. At least he should on paper. And with the bad blood that these two have, that's just going to be extra fuel for the last style bender. And we're going to see Izzy on demon time. Like Izzy is not playing. We're going to see that Adesanya that we saw last time out, not the boring Israel Adesanya that we've seen throughout the last half of his title ring. We're going to see that Izzy that destroyed Costa, that destroyed Alex Pereira and Robert the first time. Still Knox is screwed. But uh, that's all I got to say for right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of this matchup. Uh, like and subscribe and peace out.